Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the MMD ABS rear window louvers available for the 2015 and newer Fastback Mustang. Now for the owner of an S550 Fastback, you might be in the market for an exterior styling piece that makes a huge difference on your appearance. This part from MMD is a textured matte black ABS plastic rear window louver that adds that retro styling, the retro muscle car styling to an otherwise very modern Mustang design. It's using all of the best quality materials, a textured black, impact resistant, crack resistant, UV resistant, matte black finish with a textured grain, which uses a really angular, aggressive, stealthy design when compared to some of the options in the category. Now, in my opinion, I really like the ABS finish. I've had this exact same louver on my old SN95 or at least something very close to it from MMD. I'm a big fan of it, but of course there's aluminum options out there. There's smoother options that aren't as angular. It's all personal preference, but at the end of the day, it's a very impactful, bold styling piece for the rear end, something that you can even see on your side profile. A couple other things I like to note about this particular MMD option, which I think makes it stand out a little bit more from the rest, is underneath of each one of these louvers is a nice weather strip padding right at the edge here where it contacts the windshield. That's gonna help prevent any rattling at highway speeds, which is some of the complaints and some of the other options in the category when it comes to louvers. Sometimes these guys at highway speeds will have a rattle, but this includes that padding to make sure it's got a soft touch and you're not gonna hear anything from inside the cabin. In addition to that, this one, even though it is a textured matte black finish, you can paint it right out of the box. If you wanna take it to a local paint shop of your choice, in our case, we have a 2018 Eco, which is Orange Fury. We can get this paint matched to this color if we'd like. Personally, I like the matte black finish, but that really comes down to personal preference. The option is there for you to choose if you'd like. Now this one comes in right around 400 bucks, which is gonna be a pretty expected price tag for rear window louvers. It doesn't stray too far from some of the other options out there. Given that it's MMD, modern muscle design, designed by none other than Chip Foose himself, it definitely has a reputation behind it, and I'm a big fan of MMD parts. Same thing goes for this guy here. Now the install for this is gonna get a very simple one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Literally anybody can tackle it in the driveway at home in about 30 minutes to an hour from start to finish. I'm gonna walk you through every step of the process, but keep in mind it is recommended to also have a helping hand on deck. So if you have a friend that can help you get this installed properly, it goes a long way to make sure it's lined up on both sides as you install it. Also, one thing to note before we jump into things is, once you do install this with the 3M brackets to the windshield and you tighten them down with the nuts, it's recommended to remove the louvers and let the adhesive on the brackets installed on your windshield cure for up to 24 hours before permanently putting on your louvers. Something to keep in mind. One thing I really do like about this, again, before we jump into things here, is they are removable. So anytime you install it and it comes time to wash your rear windshield, you can unscrew these nuts pull off the one piece louver, clean your windshield and pop them right back on without having to break out any serious hand tools, which makes life a whole lot easier. Make sure your Mustang can get cleaned in every aspect. Now, again, I'm gonna show you every step of the process. What do you say I shut up and we get to it? Tools used in this install include a ratchet and an eight millimeter socket, deep or short, clean microfiber, and a bottle of soap and water is also recommended. All right, so to kick things off here, of course, what we're gonna do is take the 3M applied brackets and we're going to install them on the back side of our louvers. The way you wanna do this is all the brackets included have a lock nut and a washer. You wanna take the lock nut off as well as the washer, and you're basically going to apply this to the open pre-drilled hole on the louver with the 3M on the back side. You wanna take the washer and put it through the stud on the other side or on the, you know, the outside, and then tighten it down using the nut. Now we're only going to get them finger tight for now. You don't wanna tighten them down too much with a socket or anything like that, because once we apply it and install it onto the windshield, we're just gonna take the louvers right back off to do a silicone sealant and to let it cure before permanent installation. So once you have that, you're gonna repeat this for each one of the brackets. There's two on each side, three on the top, two on the bottom. So let's do this exact same process for all of them. Now, when you install them, you wanna make sure you're installing them the appropriate way. So this would be the appropriate way, the 3M on the inside. If you flip it around the other way, it'll be sticking out over the edge and it'll be really ugly in appearance once you install it on the windshield. So just make sure they're facing the appropriate way. You don't want anything overlapping the edges. Just wanna make sure that the spacer, the washer is on the other side as well, on the nut side, and then just keep it moving.
All right, now that we have every one of our brackets applied, what we're gonna do now is go to the back side of the 3M, peel off the backing on each one of the brackets. And each one of the brackets does have two strips of 3M. So you're doubling down on each one of the brackets, peel those guys off. If you want to apply adhesion promoter, you can do so now. I would suggest doing that if you want a more permanent solution to installing these brackets. Of course, you will be able to remove them anytime. You'll probably need a heat gun to get them off though if you're using adhesion promoter. But if you want that added peace of mind, it's included in the kit, apply them to the backside of the tape. It's a little sponge you can just wipe that over with and then you'll be good to move on. Now for the purposes of this video, afterwards we're going to be uninstalling them. So I'm not using adhesion promoter on our fleet vehicle in the shop today. But again, if you want that added peace of mind, it's a very simple step. Use that sponge and apply it to the tape. If you need to, you can use a knife or a blade to just squeeze under there because it can be pretty, pretty tight. So we've got a little blade here. I'm just working up the edges and peeling off the backing. Next step, guys, we're gonna to toss this stuff aside. We're gonna head over to our vehicle behind me. You wanna use the two alcohol wipes included in the kit to wipe down the windshield to free it of all dirt and dust. Now, this is a very important part you do not want to skip. Some of the horror stories you hear over the years is people having their lubris fly off, and that's mainly attributed to skipping the step or neglecting the step of cleaning the windshield. If you don't clean it properly, you'll have dirt and dust prohibiting a good bond between that and your 3M tape, which can cause them to come off after a while, especially at highway speeds. Clean off the windshield using the alcohol wipes here. We're gonna focus on the edging all around the windshield, top, bottom, and the two sides. You also wanna focus on right below your third brake light because as you can see, there will be 3M there as well. So we'll do that with our alcohol wipes. Now you can use a soap and water mixture as well if you want to. The alcohol included in the kit will definitely do the trick. Just avoid using chemicals like Windex and other cleaners because they do have added chemicals that can prohibit the bond as well. You really wanna to stick to these. Once we have that taken care of, we'll be able to use the helping hand of a friend to get this aligned and apply it into place. And from there, I'll teach you guys what you gotta do next. So for now, we're gonna to toss this aside. Let's clean the windshield. Now, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but our windshield is extremely dirty. It's got a lot of pollen all over it too. So I'm actually gonna use soap and water first with a microfiber, clean the entire windshield, and then I'll go back to the edges where the 3M is with the alcohol wipe just to double down. Now we can take the alcohol wipe and focus on the edging here where the 3M will apply. You wanna focus on about a four inch gap from your paint out into the windshield. We're just gonna go back and forth, making sure that that's really clean. You also wanna focus on right under that third brake light, like I said. All right, so I'm gonna do about half the windshield with this one. We do have another one in the kit, so you wanna make sure you're swapping out to the other one. Next step, we're gonna install the louvers and I got my buddy Joe here to help me out. You definitely need a helping hand. Don't try to do this by yourself. You wanna make sure it's aligned properly on both sides. You really have one good shot at it because the 3M already has the backing removed. So what we're gonna do is line this guy up, making sure you're keeping the third brake light in mind. Go from the top up into that corner. Bring her down. It's looking good on my end. All right, from there, you can put pressure all around, firm, even pressure on each one of the brackets and let it sit for a minute to cure. And then we're gonna take it back off. All right, so the next step is actually to remove the louvers. So in order to do that, we're just gonna unscrew those little nuts on the outside and lift straight off. Our brackets will stay applied to the windshield and that's exactly what we want. If any of them come off, you wanna make sure you're reapplying that. Maybe use the adhesion promoter to make sure it's sticking properly. But what we're gonna need to do is remove this we're gonna use our silicone sealant and then allow it to cure for up to 24 hours without the weight of the louvers applied to the brackets. That makes sure that it gets the good bond, the louvers aren't dragging them down while it's still in the curing process. We want it to get the best bond possible. Once it's done that, we'll be able to reapply the louvers, tighten them down, grab a socket or a wrench and make sure they're nice and tight and not going anywhere. But for now, remove the nuts on each one of the brackets and set the louvers aside. You also don't want to forget about the washers as well. If 
From here, let's gently lift up on the louvers to detach them from the bracket. Just gonna get them off of those studs there. Go over to the other side if you can't get it off there. Just pop them off of those studs. There we go, let's set this guy aside. Next step, once you have your louvers uninstalled, it's recommended to use the silicone sealant included in the kit. In your kit, you'll find this little tube here. All you'll need to do is take the cap off, put this cone top on, and you're basically going to apply this around the edges of the brackets that are sitting on your windshield. This will really give it a weatherproof, waterproof seal around the 3M to make sure nothing can undercut that 3M and loosen it up over time. Now, this isn't required, but it is heavily recommended if you really think you're gonna be using your louvers in the long term. This makes sure that these last the lifetime you want them to without coming off beforehand. So what you're really gonna do is make sure that you have this on, you'll poke a hole in the cap here or cut the tip of the cap and follow around the edges here on each one of the brackets. Hit all four corners, and if you need to, you can push it in by hand to flatten it and really tighten it down. Now again, because we are just going to be removing these from our 2018 here, I'm not actually going to be applying this myself, but I did want to give you that quick step. All you got to do is go around the edges and repeat for each one of the brackets. Let them cure after you're done for up to 24 hours, and then we can put our louvers back into place. All right, we've let it cure for 24 hours and uh, we're gonna put our louvers into place now. So what you're gonna do is really only need one person for this job. You're just gonna lift it over, find those studs and insert them into those holes. All right, seated on all of them. You just wanna double check. And then up there on the third brake light, perfect. Let's grab our washers and our nuts and tighten them back down. I'm gonna finger tighten all of them and then come back with a socket. Final step, and it's an easy one. Grab an eight millimeter socket, deep or short. Quarter inch ratchet does the trick as well. And just tighten these guys down. Now you don't want to over tighten them. Keep in mind you are installing this to an ABS. If you tighten them too much, it can start to put too much pressure on the plastic. So just get them nice and snug and then maybe a quarter turn after that and it should be good. All right, with that last one wrapped up, you can put your socket away, you're good to go. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up my review and install for the MMD ABS rear window louvers available for the 15 and newer Fastbacks. A lot of good things I like about this part as we expect from MMD. If you wanna get this one for yourself, you can do so exclusively right here at AmericanMuscle.com.